you sit inside the sleek black submarine, feeling it shake and rumble as it makes its way through the water's surface. Hearing the chime, the door hissed and opened up, the platform extending out into the dock, a place you knew all too well, the Hadal black site. You could hear HQ over the PDA, informing you of your objective. It was reaching the crystal and collecting any, quote, loose assets. You sighed, wishing for this to just be over. In all honesty, you just wanted to draw. I mean, you didn't exactly have the luxury when you were sat in jail. But ever since you came here, you'd been bursting with creativity, thanks to a certain fish-like man named Sebastian Salas. Well, maybe it was thanks to the files that he had shown you. The different creatures helping you come up with new sketches in your makeshift sketchbook. And speaking of Sebastian, let's say he made a <clears throat> appearance in a few too many pages of said sketchbook. He was a frequent guest for your pencil. I know, I know it, it, it sounds weird, but you couldn't help it. He was just so interesting. And maybe you couldn't help but draw some <clears throat> spicier bits for your anatomy practice, obviously. Sebastian didn't really get your drawing obsession. Aside from the occasional eye roll whenever you brought out your sketchbook, he really didn't give you too much of a reaction. I mean, sometimes he asked about some of the things you've drawn and you showed him making sure your thumb was heavily pressed down on the pages so you could contain some of the spicier works, but his usual response was some bland, sarcastic, quick little thing he could spit out. One day, you'd made your way to Sebastian's shop, finally having collected enough data to be able to afford his very own document, which described him as a Z-13, something that the company wanted, and I quote, dead on sight, if he was spotted or trying to escape. If you lay eyes upon the mutant, hi Sebastian, he agreed. With a bright smile, he sarcastically smiles back before dropping it instantly. What? He grunts and you continue your business. After you cut the file, you decide to just kind of hang around, at least until he decides to kick you out. You look through his file, reading all the information about him, and you see his human mugshot. Wow, he was quite the handsome fellow. You grab your sketchbook after filling this spark of inspiration from his mugshot, you begin to draw a bit of a private sketch. Sebastian all but ignores you, going through the items he'd found to sell to Expendables. Sebastian stood, sorting through the items on his makeshift counter, his gaze barely flickering towards you as you perched on the edge of a nearby table. Ignoring the occasional glances at your sketchbook, he continued his task, apparently uninterested in you. They're still hanging around, huh? His voice was dry. Dry as the desert, in fact, as he broke into the quiet. The corners of your lips twitched into a smile, not at all discouraged by his frosty attitude. Despite the coldness in his tone, there was a hint of curiosity hidden beneath his words. You caught him watching you from the corner of his eye, his gaze lingering on the sketchbook in your lap. He'd never admit it, but he was a little bit intrigued, perhaps maybe a little curious about what you always were drawing. Sitting down, the item in his hand, Sebastian folded his arms across his chest. Leaning back against the counter, his eyes narrowed, scrutinized every movement that you made with your pencil. You're always sketching something, huh? He murmured, his voice betraying a touch of interest despite his nonchalant tone. He came a little bit closer. A subtle shift in his stance, indicating his growing curiosity. Sebastian leaned a little bit closer, craning his neck to catch a glimpse of your sketchbook in your lap. He couldn't help but be drawn towards your sketches. The way your pencil danced across the paper captivated him, yet he masked his fascination with a gruff exterior. You smiled. It's nothing. You all but hide your drawing, as getting caught drawing a spicy picture of him would be all but humiliating utterly humiliating. Sebastian's eyes narrowed as he caught the movement of you concealing the drawing from his view. 
A hint of frustration flickered across his face. His interest peaked even more now. What were you trying to hide? Hmm. It's nothing, huh? He repeated. Clicking his tongue, his voice was laid with skepticism. He reached out a hand, trying to snatch away the sketchbook from you. Come on. Let me see. The large man snatches it, the height difference making it basically impossible for you to grab it back. It, hey! You scream, heart immediately starting to pound in your chest. Sebastian chuckles, his large claws easily holding the sketchbook out of your reach. The corners of his lips curled into a smirk as he skimmed through the pages, his gaze flickering from one sketch to another. What have we got here? He muttered, his eyes widening slightly as he stumbled across a particularly spicy drawing. His smirk grew. He was utterly amused, turning slightly sinister. Well, 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 Sebastian drawled, a hint of mockery in his tone. Sebastian, give it back, you pleaded. He paused, his eyes fixed on the sensual drawing. His eyebrows raised in disbelief. The spicy drawing made the mune chuckle, the mix of amusement as our eyes on his face, as you flipped through more of the pages. <laughs> What's this? Anatomy practice? He choked, snickering. His gaze flicked between you and the drawing. You stood there, flushed face, heart pounding in your chest as Sebastian continued to flip through the pages. You were mortified. And it was growing with each turning page especially now since he'd come across the spicier ones inspired by none other than him. Sebastian let out a little whistle, a smirk that hang on his lips as he continued to tease you. You've been quite creative, haven't you? He commented, voice laced with a hint of mischief. You groaned, covering your face. Your face was on fire, burning with embarrassment. You couldn't believe how casually he was just flipping through your sketches. You're very private and personal thoughts and feelings laid bare before him. His smirk only seemed to grow as he was relishing in your humiliation. You've got quite the artistic imagination, Sebastian continued, mocking you. But I never took you for quite the admirer. He chuckled, thoroughly enjoying your embarrassment. Your face grew even hotter, your hands covering your burning cheeks. Sebastian chuckled, clearly enjoying the effect he had on you. He paused on our particularly spicy drawing, a smirk playing on his lips as he casually held the sketchbook for you to see. I gotta say, these are, I mean, quite suggestive, he commented, his voice dripping with sarcasm. I had no idea you had such specific interest in me, he chuckled. It's just for good practice. You try to make a quick excuse, but... Sebastian just leaned in, his smirk growing wider. Oh, for practice? He repeated, wish to repairing with mockery. You expect me to believe that? He took a step closer, his frame towering over yours. The details, the specific details, he chuckled. Honey, those aren't just basic anatomy studies, are they? He continued, casually thumbing through the sketchbook, stopping on an even worse one. Sebastian's smirk turned even more sinister if that was even possible. He glanced at it, his eyes lingering on it for a bit longer before looking up. His stature seemed to make you feel quite small in comparison. I mean, you have quite the fascination with me, he murmured, his voice laced with a hint of amusement. His eyes flickered onto the sketchbook again. Can't get me out of your head, huh? Your face flushed, even more embarrassment seeming to course through you as if that was possible. Sebastian chuckled, finding great amusement in your reaction. He leaned back on against the nearest table, crossing his arms over his chest. So, he began, his eyes fixed on you. Care to explain why you've been drawing me in such <clears throat> compromising positions? He said, his voice dripping. He stood there, feeling utterly embarrassed, mortified, humiliated, and any other word you could think of. Your heart pounded in your chest. You stuttered, trying to find the words to explain yourself. But before you could even speak, Sebastian interrupted you. I mean, I'm flattered. Really? He began, 
tone dripping with sarcasm. He chuckled, eyes looking back down to the sketchbook once more. But I just never thought you'd be so obsessed with me, especially like this. He held up the spicy drawing, wiggling his eyebrows. Oh, stop it, dude. He totally knew he was getting a kick off this. He clearly enjoyed it, embarrassing you. No, don't be like that, he teased. You're the one who drew these masterpieces. I'm just admiring your artistic skills. He held up the sketchbook again, flipping through the more pages. I mean, you certainly captured me in a very unique way, Sebastian commented, his tone dripping with irony. Your face flushed even deeper, your mortification hitting new levels. I mean, this might be your personal score. He paused on another one. Wow. He murmured. You really didn't hold back, do you? Very autonomously, very accurate. He stuttered. He couldn't quite tell what he liked more. Your flushed face or your reaction as he flicked through more of the sketches without care in the world. Eventually, he closed the sketchbook slowly, his gaze meeting your own. There was a long moment of silence. Sebastian seemingly lost in thought as he held the sketchbook, his claws tapping onto it. After a few moments of silence, he spoke up, his voice softer than before. You've been quite thorough, he murmured, his gaze still locked on you. His expression softened slightly, a hint of understanding mixed with a hint of something else. Could it be flattery? You know... If you want to draw me, the least you could do is hide it a little better. He throws your book back at you, chuckling, going back to sort through his items. You looked at the sketchbook in your lap, your heart, so pounding in your chest, Sebastian's words, shooting right to your heart. Finally, you spoke up, your voice shaking. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for you to see them. It's just... You're really interesting, okay? You stuttered. Sebastian paused what he was doing. He looked at you over his shoulder. Interesting, huh? He repeated, his voice carrying a hint of skepticism. Despite his apparent nonchalant, there was a flicker of something in his eyes. He continued to sort through his items, although his movements seemed to be a bit more distracted than before. You watched him, your heart still beating in your chest furiously. There was a tense silence in the room, the only sound being Sebastian's movements as he shifted through the items on the counter. He wondered what he could be thinking. Finally, you mustered up the courage to speak again. I enjoy sketching you, you admitted, your voice still shaking slightly. I, I find you fascinating. Sebastian paused, his hand stilling on an item on the counter. He didn't look back at you, but you could see the way his muscles in his back tensed slightly. There was another moment of silence before he spoke again. His voice was low and measured. Fascinating. He whispered, making it difficult to really hear what he said. He continued to sort through the item silently, being more deliberate now. He, you continued to watch, unsure what to say next. The atmosphere in the room was thick, and the words were left unsaid. Finally, he spoke again. Listen, next time... When you're gonna draw me in such intimate situations, he said, mockery back at his tone. Try to be a bit more discreet. He chuckled, a hint of a smirk on his face. I wouldn't want them to find out about your little hobby.